Good afternoon. It's uh, Sunday, December the 20th. I'm back in the Reed Nook. I'm opening some parcels. Um, so here for some more unboxing in the Nook. Uh, next, we are going to do um, this uh, parcel I got from, yeah, it's come from eBay. Um, and it's come all the way from, uh, let's have a look. Um, what was going to say? Uh, it's, I know it's come from the States um, uh, because it had to, and there's a good reason for that. So let's open it up. Oh, yeah, that's it. Oh, always get my finger in there. Okay, I'll give up. I'll just get the knife. <laughs> uh, these things are meant to be easy. There we go. And I've got a couple. No. Um, more double unboxing. Okay, that's just, uh, that's the, that's the, I have to say, the, the sender's package is very Here we go. Packaged this very well. I, can't, I definitely can't complain on, 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 on those guys. Um, give this a bit of a Go. Uh, this is the Strontium Dog role playing game. Okay. Um, the year is 2182. The Atomic War of 2150 created mutants through the fallout of Strontium 90. Hated and despised by other humans, mutants are forbidden to own property or hold jobs. Only one occupation is open to them, only way, one way out of the slums and ghettos to join the Search Destroy Agency to roam the galaxy, hunting down criminals and fugitives fleeing the ineffective justice system of hundreds of different worlds and systems to become a bounty hunter, feared and loathed by all, to become a Strontium Dog. Based on the superb 2008 series of the same name, Strontium Dog takes you into the world of Johnny Alpha and Wolf Stonehammer using the Traveller Core rulebook. You will create your own mutant bounty hunter, your own Strontium Dog, and go out in search of rewards and adventure. You will be loathed by most, shunned by many, and have to live on your wits daily as the lives of mutants or mutants are considered cheap and expendable. But as a Strontium Dog, you have certain advantages, the capabilities your mutation gives you, and access to some of the most powerful and bizarre weapons available in the 22nd century. Okay. So, uh, this is the supplement essentially uh, to play Strontium Dog, Strontium Dog role playing game. Um, it was published by Mongoose Publishing uh, in 2009. Now, the interesting thing about this um, is uh, I'm interested in reviewing this because um, N World Publishing has just released its own Strontium Dog role playing game uh, using uh, Wine What's Old is New. Uh, following on from um, uh, uh, Judge Dredd and the Woods of 2000 AD, which I have reviewed earlier this year, basically as a series looking at all four Judge Dredd role-playing games. Now, the thing is, I can't quite do that with the Strontium Dog role-playing game, because this isn't the first Strontium Dog role-playing game, and uh, neither is the new version coming on from Ed from Enroll Publishing. The first uh, Strontium Dog role-playing game was never published. Um, it was worked on by Games Workshop um, in about 1986 um, and went for playtest and was certainly um, available as demonstration games um, at Games Day uh, in 1986 in London. Um, I was there with some friends and I played in a session that afternoon uh, I can remember it, well, I remember it um, reasonably well uh, because it is 30 odd years ago. Um, it's also the same um, event where we, friends and I first came across the role playing game Sky, Skyrim's Jeroen. Now what's interesting is that version of, um, um, of, of, of the Strontium Dog uh, role playing game was never published because um, 
Games Workshop switched emphasis in terms of what they were publishing. Um, but the role-playing game itself was based upon the similar mechanics to um, the Judge Dredd role-playing game, which came out uh, sort of 1985. Um, and I have since played it. I played it this year. I played that version of Snotting Dog this year because somebody else, I do know someone who actually has a printout copy of those rules. Okay, they're not official, essentially, they're like the, the, the playtest version. Um, I would actually love to get hold of those and review them, but I'm not, unfortunately that's not going to happen um, because obviously they're special to him and um, short of me sort of turning up his house for a day, sitting there and writing and writing and it's, you know, that's an imposition. But anyway, so, um, this is using the Traveller rules. So one of the great things about that, one of the good things about using the Traveller rules for this kind of thing is that Traveller mechanics um, are good at handling science fiction elements. So guns and spaceships and that sort of thing. And, uh, and basically the technical things. And which is why the, the Traveller version of the Judge Dread rules, uh, which Mongo is publishing, are actually fairly decent. And they're also decent because they, they, you, they're good because they allow you to create interesting uh, player character judges Jud um, because you use the, the space essentially the life path system that Traveller has for its characters. So what have we got? Um, well first off this is not in colour, it's black and white um, and uh, it's fairly plain um, whereas the Judge Dread role-playing game was in full colour, used lots of good artwork um, so yeah um, so you know, basically, the, I mean, the thing is that that's not necessarily a problem because uh, two thousand AD originally was being published in black and white. It has some fantastic artwork in black and white and in colour. So we've got an image there of Durham Red. Um, it, uh, essentially, you've got tables of mishaps and uh, basically for creating um, fugitives and so on. Um, uh, and then we go into uh, essentially dog training, basically how to create um, a, 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 a strontium dog, um, equipment and weapons. And the interesting thing is there's lots of interesting weapons in the setting. Um, you know, even just basically just standard blaster is fine. And then you, you, you've got... Um, uh, uh, where are we? Blasters, um, energy weapons, laser pistols, scatter, scatter beams, stunners, uh, slug weapons, uh, exotic weapons, happy sticks, las whips, uh, pulse bombs, which cause anything from epileptic fits to to blindness. Um, time war, time and dimensional weapons. Um, so time bombs, which you know, uh, which throws a weapon backwards and forwards. It throws an area backwards in the path and forwards and so on. Uh, you can have a lot of fun with that. Um, uh, lots of details of, of, of various div, uh, vehicles, and then we go into space travel. Uh, okay. Um, uh, basically, a chapter on the search and destroy agency. Um, Doghouse structure, uh, warrants, and that sort of thing Ex explains them. Um, I mean, a bounty hunter's gu guide to the galaxy, which, which just gives you the, the background, the strontium rain, rain Earth from 2150 to 2157, and the creation of the agency, uh, sectors of the galaxies, and so on. Um, and uh, basically, a subsector. That looks very much like a travel subsector to me. Um, and basically, uh, not many worlds, but yeah, that's essentially what it looks like. Um, okay, another one there. So on, you've got the descriptions of the world there. Um, and then we basically, world descriptions upon world descriptions. Uh, uh, we go on to um, 
essentially sorcery in the new church, which is uh, uh, basically brings bring, bring the, what, what looks like a science fiction setting into the realms of science fantasy, um, and so on, uh, adds magic and so on, uh, basic rules for creating the good, the scum and the villainy of the setting. Um, uh, and um, Criminals and Fugitives, basically with warrant cards. Uh, so there we go. Um, basically ready for the player characters just to step in, player characters, stomping dogs, and just come down and search. Uh, there are some classic ones in here. Um, so yes, uh, there is a warrant card for one Adolf Schuckelgruber. Famously, Johnny Alpha goes and arrests Adolf Schuckelgruber. Um, uh, stats for both um, the major um, figures so yes um, Johnny Alpha there we go um, Wolf Stonehammer uh, Durham Red Archibald Middenfalls McNulty uh, referees notes and so on um, and, uh, yeah um so that's um, Slanty the role-playing game. I mean, basically, you will need the traveler rules to go with it, but you've got everything you need to sort of there to get going with um, a setting, which is really kind of, you know, um, it's, it's a really easy sell. You play uh, bounty hunters, um, you're not light, you play mutants, um, and it's a, it, it, it's, it's, a, um, it's a dark and dirty work universe, and somebody's got to clean it up, especially if you're being paid. So, uh, Strontium Dog role-playing game, coming, a review of that coming to uh, the usual place soon, and then hopefully followed by a review of Strontium Dog uh, from, uh, from Enroll Publishing. Um, if you've enjoyed this uh, unboxing, please do uh, click uh, down below, a like, or if you've got something to say, do make a comment. And if you want to see more of these, be alerted to more of these, then uh, subscribe. Um, I'll be posting these as often as I can. Um, thanks for watching and I look forward to you uh, uh, coming back for another unboxing soon. Bye for now.